Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to explore how to create a wireframes in Figma the easy way. Now, a brief premise before we get started, and that is that wireframes are just one single part of the design process. So whenever I'm working with clients, I always want to understand what is the end goal and what is the context in which we're operating, because in some instances, wireframes do make uh, a big impact in the project, but other times it's going to be more minimal. So depending uh, on uh, the specific project and client, uh, you're going to want to decide if going with one direction or the other. Now without further ado, let's uh, uh, talk about uh, what uh, I usually do when it comes uh, to the wireframe process. So there's two approaches mainly. The first one would be to actually find uh, a wireframe kit, which uh, if you can find uh, dozens of them or hundreds even on the community. For example, I'm looking at this one from a look scout. And uh, if uh, you go under the community, you're going to find uh, so many wireframes uh, kits uh, which uh, you can uh, leverage. Now, a lot of them, since these are freebies, are going to not be extensive wireframe uh, kits. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind, but they can be a good uh, starting base. Now. When it comes to my personal uh, preference, uh, most of the times what I like to do is instead of uh, using a wireframe kit, uh, is uh, I just like to create a wireframe directly using basic elements uh, within a Figma. So practically speaking, uh, what I would do is, uh, for example, select a rectangle and uh, just create uh, maybe like an outline uh, stroke uh, around it. Uh, and uh, this would uh, serve uh, as the base for all sorts of uh, different elements, you know, such as uh, images, things of, things of that nature. Uh, you can also use some uh, iconography in between. Uh, and uh, I would uh, simply create uh, uh, elements uh, and uh, wireframes uh, really quickly by just using this bare bones uh, structure because at the end of the day, wireframes uh, shouldn't be uh, UI design elements, meaning that uh, they sh you shouldn't spend a lot of time in uh, creating uh, uh, beautiful, you know, complex uh, wireframes. So this uh, is uh, kind of like my go-to whenever I need to sketch out uh, or just communicate the high-level idea to a team. And uh, I noticed that just uh, using this approach uh, can really be helpful. But in some instances, maybe I want to show or present the work to some stakeholders. Maybe I want to uh, really impress the client with some uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, wireframes which um, look top notch. So in that instance, I would either go in the Figma community or either to one of these uh, websites right here, which uh, I am no, not sponsored with, uh, but uh, it's just resources that I personally use uh, they are premium resources, so this is it's not uh, the free approach, uh, just a, a word on that. Uh, if you want uh, free wireframes, you can simply go in the Figma community as I showed before. But basically, I, li I like to use uh, places or resources such as UI8. UI8 in particular is uh, one of my go-tos. So you can go here under the wireframe section and uh, I can see it because I literally have the webcam on top of, of this, but if you click on the wireframe, you are essentially going to uh, be able to see all sorts of different wireframes uh, directly from this website. And uh, it's um, going to be more premium wireframes, uh, so you can uh, really go uh, an extra level of uh, fidelity when it comes to these type of, uh, of wireframes. And uh, generally speaking, this uh, would be useful, especially if you're working with uh, clients uh, that uh, are maybe like higher tier, you can justify the cost uh, and all that. Uh, I personally have the unlimited uh, pass on UI8, so I, just, I can literally just download as many as I, as I like. But um, yeah, that would be one of my main resources. Uh, and then also LS Graphics, they do have uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, nice UI kits uh, and uh, uh, wireframe kits as well. 
haven't used uh, much of them simply because I have the subscription with UI8, but definitely a place to check out because I think that their design tools are really top notch. And uh, on top of that, uh, specifically for website design, uh, I think that Relium library is a really um, a nice uh, library when it comes to uh, wireframes for websites because it enables you to quickly copy and paste uh, elements and uh, you have uh, the ability to do that in Figma, but then you can also use the components uh, in a Webflow, which uh, really speeds up the process so, so much uh, if you're building a site in Webflow. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the very next one.